Hey guys, this is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to check out this video today. With so many uh, digital products and services available uh, via subscription these days, I want to spend a little bit of time to show you sort of the uh, back half of that. I think everybody knows at this point that you're going on the My BMW app to purchase any products and services right under the shopping bag there. And if you don't know, a quick reminder there is there is a little shopping bag uh, to the right at the very bottom of the display uh, on the screen there. You're going to just tap the shopping bag or right under your Connected Drive store. Uh, your vehicle store will pull up and you can add any sort of digital products and services available uh, for your specific car. Once you add that to the shopping bag, you can then check out. Purchase uh, happens right away. Activation happens right away as well. You get an email and a receipt from BMW uh, letting you know that your purchase has been successful and the function is currently active immediately. If there's a trial available, that will start initially. If there is no trial and it's a one-time purchase, uh, that'll also happen right away. So that is something that a lot of customers have been doing lately. One of the larger questions that we've had lately is, well, how do I activate the service actually in my car? Well, one of the things that you can do is you can go down here. Uh, let me first show you if you go down to apps and then you're going to take a look at the option button right there. We're going to touch where it says option uh, when the apps is open there and it says update apps and services. I'm going to tap down on that. It's going to transfer the data and then it's going to say apps and services are updated. One of the things I would recommend then is to actually turn the vehicle on just like this. Let it run for maybe just a couple of minutes or so and then after a couple of minutes you can then shut the vehicle off. Uh, what will then happen is the same thing that happens you know when you have a remote software upgrade or anything else that needs to get pushed uh, for your uh, viewing is once the car is shut off you have the display show right at the top activate activation of your function perform now so what you're going to do same thing happens with a remote software upgrade once the update you know goes to the device and then gets uploaded to the car one of the last things you have to do is finish the process um, if you're familiar with some of my other videos uh, talking about that this is sort of the same thing it's uh, asking you to finalize that process so what we're going to do is tap on activation of this so we can see that it says hey look this is going to take five minutes and if we want to see the information on the function we're going to touch uh, this one right here uh, this is so this is remote engine start for this particular car this is what I have added to the car so you can go through this and basically see you know whatever it is you want to see about remote engine start to understand how that function works you can perform the activation later if you choose or you can do it right now so we're going to do it right now we're going to do okay it is parked and everything is good perform activation now automatically is going to check off to make sure those things are good to go you can see right there how it's counting down um, by the seconds So iDrive shut off and it says upgrading there and you can see there's actually a little percent little bar there that's going to go over. Uh, that's showing you the upgrade kind of real time um, and the progress that it's having there. And what it's doing is it's basically talking to the server and it is downloading that upgrade which is uh, pretty cool and if you want again it's going to take about five minutes i will check back in with you when we are a little bit more further along to show you what we do next so you can see we are at 82 percent there 96 percent, and it's just finishing off that activation now so we're loading up the iDrive this is what you normally see when you first turn the car on so now we are back on the home screen and what we need to do is actually activate the remote engine start because that is not something that is just on so a couple of ways depending on the car i'm going to go through the iDrive itself to show you but just so you know cars that have the menu function down built into the climate that is the fastest and easiest way of getting there because pressing menu 
will then bring you up into the preconditioning ventilation. So of course, preconditioning did not exist before, it was just ventilation, so now that's a clear way of knowing that we're all good to go. But I'm gonna navigate there through the iDrive, in case you don't have that. So we're gonna go under car, um, we're gonna go under settings, and then we're gonna scroll over to our climate control. Same menu again. We're gonna go down to preconditioning ventilation. We're gonna go down to remote engine start. That now exists. We're gonna check off that function. And now it is fully enabled. So this will now reflect in the My BMW app that it's enabled and that um, I can use it through the My BMW app. I can also now use the key fob as well, uh, pressing the lock three times in a row to start that as well. The remote engine start is specific. Um, setup option there. Uh, there are other remote services that you can purchase that you don't necessarily have to go into the iDrive to activate. In fact, I mean, I think Remote Engine Start is probably one of the only ones. There's a couple of the other ones. Like if we go into, let's see, things like uh, traffic camera information, things like that, if that was built in there as well, showing you where the safety, the red light cameras are, things like that. Uh, some of that you may have to check off. You have to go app by app, just kind of see what's going on. Uh, in there. But that's a quick overview of how to actually fully install and activate a basically function on demand is what we call it uh, once you've made the purchase through your connected drive store. Again, my name is Chris. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video with me today. Uh, down below, great links are relative to BMW Connected Drive and the Connected Drive Store. Definitely want to check that out. Also down below is the link to the Chris's Beamers Amazon storefront. Uh, Want to check that out. Any products and services purchased through there, Chris's Beamers does earn commission on. Thanks again for checking out the video. Make sure you join the channel for the memberships at the top to get exclusive perks to Chris's Beamers. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can always stay up to date with the latest content. And as always, stay healthy and safe out there.